Hey guys, this is the video lesson for your inquiry lab on unit rates. So I'm gonna go over the three investigations with you and I'm gonna have you do a couple problems on the following page and that will be part of what you have to do. So let's get started. First off, this says Jamila and Annika were rollerblading. They skated 14 miles in two hours. If they skated at a constant rate, how many miles did they skate in one hour? So let's go through and find out what we know. Now, instead of writing it down here and what we need to find out here, we're gonna do some circling and underlining. So I like to circle what I know, and then I, and I squiggly underline what I need to find out. So here's what I know. First off, well, Jamila and Annika were rollerblading. Okay, great. They skated 14 miles in two hours. So I'm gonna circle that. 14 miles in two hours. Oops, hold on a second. Okay. If they skated at a constant rate, that means they went the same speed all the time. How many miles did they skate in one hour? So where we have to find out something, that's what I'm gonna squiggly underline. So I'm gonna squiggly underline how many miles did they skate in one hour? So 14 miles in two hours at a constant rate and we have to figure out how that was in one mile. Now we're gonna go down to the investigation and we're gonna go through um, how to draw a bar diagram to help you with this. And I know this first one, a lot of you might be thinking I know the answer and that's okay, but they get more complicated and the bar diagram can be a helpful strategy. So step one says, use a bar diagram to represent 14 miles. The box is separated into two equal sections to represent two hours. So if you were drawing this from scratch, you would start by drawing a bar that bar represents all 14 miles, and they did that in two hours. So you would say this is one hour and this is one hour. So that's how they did it. Okay, in step two, it says each section represents one hour. Determine the number of miles skated in one hour. So here's kind of what I think. If the whole thing is 14 miles and you're splitting it into two, Splitting means division, so if you divide 14 by two, you would get seven miles. So they skated seven miles in one hour. Okay, on to the next page. In investigation two, you're gonna see the numbers get a little more complicated, not bad, and they do less of the bar diagram for you, so you're going to have to do more. So let's show you a bar diagram in investigation two. This says a package of five crackers contains 205 calories. How many calories are in one cracker? So let's check it out. In step one, they drew a bar diagram, this whole green box, to represent all 205 calories in that packet. Now, we want to find out, since um, there's five crackers, how many calories are in one? What we're going to do is we're going to split this into five equal sections. So do this with me. Do the best you can to get five equal sections. I know mine aren't perfect. And in step two, it says label the first section one cracker. All right, so this one section, where we'll say one, I'm gonna use CR for cracker as an abbreviation. Now remember, each one of these sections represents a cracker. So here's one, two, three, four, five crackers. So the question says, how many calories are in each cracker? So let's think about that for a second. Remember, the whole thing was 205 calories, and we split it into five crackers. One, two, three, four, and five, right? And splitting means division. So that helps you see if you were to take your 205 calories and split it into five crackers your answer would be the number of calories in one cracker. So if you type in uh, 205 divided by five, or let me show you a mental math trick. I know 20 divided by five is four, and five divided by five is one. So that means it's gonna be 41 calories for each cracker. All right, so think about this when you're drawing your bar diagram. Remember, whole packet of crackers. Whole packet was 205 calories, and it has five crackers in it. So you split it into five sections. Each section represents a cracker. I divided 205 into five sections. 
So that meant 205 divided by 5 was 41. That bar diagram is supposed to help you see that you're splitting to help you know it's division. All right, now, in investigation 3, it's going to be some more complicated numbers. Uh, and, again, you're going to have to do more. The book does less for you. So let's start off. It says, a bottle of body wash costs $2.88 and contains 12 ounces. How much does it cost per ounce? Now, when you see that per ounce, that just means how much does it cost for one ounce. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start step one. We're going to fill in anywhere we see blank lines and we see empty boxes. So let me zoom in a little bit here and make it easier to see. Okay. So step one says, draw a bar diagram to represent blank. Divide the bar diagram into blank equal sections to represent blank ounces. So we are going to draw a bar diagram to represent the whole $2.88. And we're going to divide it into 12 equal sections to represent 12 ounces. All right, you with me so far? So for the whole bar, we're going to put our $2.88 up here. That means that whole green box is the, the bottle of body wash that's $2.88. And we have to split it into 12 sections because that bottle has 12 ounces. So when I do that, because 12 sections can be a pain in the butt, Here's my trick for it. I first split it in half, right about there. And each half, I'm going to split into six sections, right? Because six and six is 12. Now, if I focus on a half, that one half, I'm going to split that in half. And each one of those has to be three sections. And that's a little bit easier to do. So there's three sections there. There's three sections there. Now I have six sections there. And I'm going to do the same thing over on the left. Okay, so I'm going to split it in half and each half into three sections. And when you're done, you want to count and make sure that you have 12 sections. Oh, that one looks like it's a little short. See that one there? And don't worry about it. That's not a big deal. As long as you know you're supposed to have 12 equal sections. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, now each one of those sections represents one ounce. OZ is the abbreviation for ounce. I'm not going to write one ounce in each section. Uh, I'm just going to write it in one. So think about what I just did. I took my $2.88 and I split, which means divided it, into 12 sections. Now, if you have a calculator, you could type that in. So 288 divided by 12 and I get 0 0.24. So one ounce of body wash cost 0 0.24 or 24 cents. All right, that's what the bar, the, uh, bar diagram's all about. So let's talk about what you are gonna have to do your own. We're done with the investigations. You are going to have to do one through six. So one through four is on this page and started. Just so you know what you have to do, and then you're going to do the rest on your own. And when you hand in this makeup work to me, I'm going to be checking them. So let's show you here. Um, I'm going to help you with, let's say, number four. Let me zoom in down there. Okay. And do this with me. It'll be one less you have to do on your own. You ready? It says, Mariah has 72 flowers and four vases. She put the same number of flowers in each vase. How many flowers are in one vase? So let's go through it. Remember, the total number of flowers, ooh, let me use a different color, is here. So there's 72 flowers. That gr whole green box is 72 flowers. Now she puts them into four vases. So if you can split this into four equal sections, and each one of those sections represents one vase. Now to figure out how many flowers are in each vase, here's what I want you to think. If you had 72 flowers, split into four sections. That means you did 72 divided by four. Now, 72 divided by four, if you do that, ends up being 18, I think. Wait, 18, yep. So there will be 18 flowers, write that there, in each face. So 
You have that one as an example. Your job is to do one through six, the rest of the other five problems on your own. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. I'll be glad to help. Thank you very much, guys. Go to page 30. You'll see you have to do the two at the top. Um, you're going to have to do five, and you're going to have to do six. So I'm going to help you with one today.